Hey everyone, it's Andrew and Sam again, and we're here today at Modus Games with a quick update on Override Mech City Brawl. First of all, we want to thank everyone who participated in the closed beta. It was super helpful and we received a bunch of feedback about how we can make Override even better. We've already implemented a ton of changes and we're going to continue improving everything from the gameplay to the UI, everything else to make sure that you guys have an awesome experience when the game launches later this year. So something we heard loud and clear was that it was really difficult to deal with opponents who are running away. This made ranged specialists way too powerful and it also made it really easy to stall the game if you were trying to troll somebody. So we've addressed this in two ways. First, we've gone back to reassess all the characters' movesets and made sure that everyone had an effective ranged ability. Secondly, we made it so that the cost of dashing is greatly reduced whenever you're locked onto your opponent and dashing towards them. So this should help you chase down your opponent without impacting combat in general. Well, we've now added block buffering. So if your character is stunned or knocked down and you hold down the block button, your character will immediately block as soon as they recover. So another global change we're making is we're nerfing dash kicks. Dash kicks were way too powerful in that they were outclassing heavy attacks in pretty much every situation. It had good range, it had virtually no startup time, and it caused a knockdown. So what we're doing is we're keeping the range on it, but we're adding a little bit of startup time and we're changing it to cause a stun rather than a knockdown. This makes dash kicks a pretty good tool for closing the distance and starting combos, but because of the added startup time, you're still gonna have to put some thought into it before using it. Now, we know there was very little tutorialization in the beta, so there's now a tutorial in the game that will walk you through all the basics so you know how to smash mechs in the face right from the get-go. And a lot of you guys were asking for the ability to better customize and control your gameplay experience. Well, we got you guys covered. So for example, we now have match timers. So that's something you can set if you're concerned about a match potentially going too long. And for those of you guys who want to play competitively and kind of want to level the playing field, we also have toggles to turn off weapons or even turn off the ultimates if that's not your thing. And of course, for all you old school gaming veterans, you'll now have the ability to invert your camera. As the beta was meant largely for balancing combat, we've made tweaks to basically all of the characters to make them more viable or just more fun but there are two characters we want to talk about in specific. So first up is Contessa. Hate her or love her, she was way overpowered. She had the highest win rate by a significant margin during the closed beta. And so we had to hit her with some nerfs. The most important of which was removing her invincibility frames that she had while dashing. Uh, that was so broken that she could basically dash right in front of you and you couldn't do anything to hit her at all. So we've changed that and we made a few changes, but uh, don't worry for all you Contessa mains, She's still a plenty powerful character for you guys. And then there's Priscato, who had the absolute lowest win rate during the closed beta. He's actually a very powerful character, but he requires a certain amount of skill to play. And to be honest, we kind of like this about him, but we want to make sure that he's accessible for new players who are just learning to play him. So for example, his air dashes now deal damage, and his drop kick, which lands him on his back, actually turns his entire body into a hitbox that deals damage to other players. All of this kind of fits in with his pro wrestler persona as well. So these are just some of the highlights, but here are all the other improvements that we didn't get a chance to talk about today. Remember, you can pre-order the Supercharged Mega Edition and wishlist on Steam by heading to OverrideGame.com. 